In this video, you're gonna learn how to close the I wanna talk to my spouse objection and we're starting right now. Hey, how you doing? My name is Paul, welcome back. If it's your first time here, this channel is all about success, success mindset and sales training videos, just like this one. So if you want to succeed in life and business and get more deals, go ahead and subscribe down below and don't forget to hit that bell notification button so you don't miss anything. There's arguably no worse feeling than going through your entire sales presentation, whether it's on the phone or in person. And right at the end, your client and turns around and says, I gotta ask my wife, I gotta ask my husband, I gotta ask my dog, I gotta ask my big yellow canary. And no matter what you think or how you think it's gonna help, punching them in their face, it's not gonna get you the sale. You sit there just smiling at your client and inside you, you're thinking, mm but it's not gonna help you. So I'm gonna give you two ways to close that objection once and for all and possibly keep you out of jail. Now the first way is very simple and this works whether you're on the phone or in person. What you're gonna do is say, I understand, let's fill out this contract as we agreed and I'll just put subject to the missing person's approval. See, what this will do, it will put it in writing and make it real. And when that person takes that contract home, first of all, it shows respect to the other person because it's subject to their approval, which they will like. But second of all, they'll remember what they bought. Many times they go home and they don't remember what they bought, especially when you just sold something on the phone. Then they're not gonna present it like you presented it, making the other person person say, what? we don't need this, what is this crap? And you lose deals. The second way to close this objection is by simply saying, okay, what if they say no? Now this will throw your client off guard and it will give him only two ways to answer. Either they will say something along the lines of, hey Paul, don't worry about it. When I want something, they would never say no to me. In which case you can proceed with the previous clothes I gave you. Or they will say, if they say no, then it's no, I can't buy it. In which you will answer, what do you think they will say no to? The money or the product? If they say it's the price, it's the money, you know you have to close them on that. And I have videos for that. As a matter of fact, I'll show a video right here. Click this card, it will take you to a video. At the end of the video, I go over that. Or they will say it's the product, in which case you have to go over the product again because it's their objection, not the missing person's objection. By the way, real quick, comment down below which clothes would you use? Would you use the first clothes, the second clothes, or one of your own clothes? I'd really like to know. Don't forget to subscribe down below and if you know anybody that would also benefit from this video, please share it with them. You will both be happy you did. I'm Paul Democritou and until next time, keep succeeding.